Thanks for joining us. I, I know others will have football questions, but I did want to ask you about your participation in that People Magazine, National Gun Violence Awareness, that panel. How did you get to the point, Deontay, where you were comfortable talking about uh, what happened with your father? And what do you think, you know, that message, how, how much can that message maybe impact some kids is because you've been through it, you know, you've lived it. Um, it took me a while, you know, uh, my dad passed away in 2010. And, uh, you know, man, it was one of those things where it kind of just kind of grew on me for a while. Um, it was something I really wasn't comfortable talking about. And, uh, you know, I got to the point where, um, you know, I just thought that, you know, something that impacted me in my life could also benefit somebody that's probably going through the same thing. So um, people, you know, people in the magazine, they reached out and, uh, you know, I, I teamed up with every time. Um, and it did some work with them. So um, they kind of linked everything together and uh, just spreading the message, man. Gun violence is, is you know, serious and, uh, you know, it's something I had to deal with. And, you know, it just took me a while to get comfortable talking about. Um, so now, you know, it's just all about spreading the message and, uh, you know, just, you know, and, and trying to help and impact other people um, in their life also. We'll go Brandon Kristoff, followed by Zach Stevens. Go ahead, Brandon. I guess I'll jump in on a uh, football question. With so many weapons on offense, how do you make your case to, to get more involved or do you just focus on the return game and when they come to you, then you you jump in and say, yeah, let me run these fun plays? Um, I mean, I, I feel like we, you know, we have so many different weapons on offense. Um, everybody has a different skill set and, and guys can do multiple, multiple things. So, um, you know, it's one of those things where, um, you know, when my number gets called and um, they, they draw a play up for me. Um, you know, I can go in there and execute it. Um, I know my skill set. Um, one thing I've been kind of working on is just becoming um, a better all-around receiver um, and, and working my game. And um, Coach, Coach Z, he's done a great job of just, you know, teaching the little things. And, you know, I feel like I've gotten better. So um, for me to, you know, be at this point and, you know, get reps on offense and, you know, contribute on that end. Also on, on special teams, I just think it'll benefit, it'll benefit the team in the long run. So. Whenever my number gets called, you know, I can go in there and uh, pretty much do anything. Let's go, Zach Stevens, followed by Ryan O'Halloran. Go ahead, Zach. Hey, Deontay. Thanks for talking with us today. Uh, speaking of special teams, what have you been working on in the return game in, in both aspects, punt and kick, th this offseason? And where do you want to grow? Um, for me, I think my growth is just, uh, you know, kind of figuring out um, the whole scheme and um, everything, you know, me just doing um, with the guys up front. Um, you know, I've been returning pretty much uh, my whole career. So, um, you know, uh, I, I'm comfortable to get back there and, and pretty much um, take take control of everything. But, you know, this year, you know, I just want to grow into kind of learning what everybody does up front and just kind of making my job easier. Um, so if I can kind of know what's going on up front and, um, you know, see it before it happens, um, you know, game day is going to be smooth. So. Um, that's that's pretty much um, what I'm trying to trying to go into working on this year. Um, you know, it was a, a big jump from year one to to this to now, and um, you know I feel like more comfortable, and I feel like uh, you know special team is, is going to be a big part um, of you know this team's success. So um, that's all I've been working on. Let's go, Ryan O'Halloran, followed by Nick Kosmeyer. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, Deontay, you've had to go into camp several times to win a job and play well. If, if any of these undrafted uh, receivers come to you and say, what, what should I do? What's your advice to them? Everything. Um, whatever, you know, whatever their name is on, whether it's at the bottom of the depth chart on offense or the bottom of the depth chart on special teams, um, just make sure you can go in and do it pretty much everything. Um, I feel like that's how you make a team on, on special teams if you're, you know, a bubble guy. But, um, you know, for me, it's uh, just – Go in and uh, pretty much wherever you're at on the depth chart, um, do your best. And, uh, you know, I feel like if um, you're doing that, um, they're going to see you. Um, they're going to they gonna eventually uh, um, know your name and you're going to get more reps. And that's how you make the team. So, Thanks. Let's go, Nick Kosmider, followed by George Stoyer. Go ahead, Nick. Hi, Deontay. Um, a second ago, you mentioned, um, you know, Coach Z and, and really kind of drilling home the little things you guys as a receiver group have some continuity with him. Now he's been working with them for a couple of years. What, what are some of the biggest ways that you think that he kind of is helping you individually as a player and kind of helping that group? What are some of the things that stand out about his coaching style? 
Um, for me, you know, he's helped me just um, the game's uh, slowing down tremendously for me. Um, you know, I was a guy that um, I played wide receiver, but, you know, I didn't really know all the nuances of, of being, um, you know, a wide receiver. So, um, and especially being a speed guy, breaking points and getting in and out of breaks and all those different things. Um, and just, you know, executing the right ways and um, setting up routes and uh, just knowing when to, when to uh, speed things up or slow things down uh, mentally. And, um, you know, I feel like, you know, my games, my games elevated into um, just kind of the growth of those things that he's been teaching. So um, that's one thing, you know, that, that he's helped me with tremendously. Um, and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm more comfortable at wide out. And, um, you know, my games will just keep elevating at that position. So George Stoya followed by Mike Cliss. Go ahead, George. Yeah, Deontay, going off of uh, Ryan's earlier question, obviously you're only going into your third season with the Broncos, but you've been playing uh, football for quite a while. You, you know the ins and outs of the business. Do you, feel, do you feel like you're a veteran, even though you're going into only your third season? And, and have you maybe taken on more of a leadership role with this team? Oh, um, man, you know, I just, I pretty much just come in and, and be myself um, every single day. Um, I don't look at it as, uh, my, my year seven, year three, whatever it is, um, you know, I just come in and, and, and guys kind of gravitate toward my energy. And, uh, you know, if, if it's being a leader without being vocal, um, you know, that's what, that's what, that's one of, of the traits that I have. So um, I don't really look at myself as, as, as that, but um, I feel like guys um, just gravitate toward my energy. And, you know, it's, it's something that benefits the team. So, um, I don't really look at it as, as being like a, a leader or somebody on the team. So, If you no longer have a question, please lower your hand for me. We'll go Mike Kliss, followed by Luke Patterson. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Deontay, I was wondering when you uh, got introduced to Teddy Bridgewater here this summer, uh, did he mention something about the punt return that helped beat him last year, uh, you know, against Carolina? And uh, what has he brought to the team? I see you smiling there, uh, no, nah. you're thinking of something. No, nah, no, nah, uh, man, Teddy, Teddy's a good guy. And, you know, we kind of talked about, um, he remembered that I scored that punt return against him. So um, that's something we had uh, just a little laugh about. But um, I feel like Teddy's been great, man. He's, he's, he's you know, an energy guy. Um, you know, he's very vocal out there on the field. And, um, you know, um, he's kind of helped me also just, um, just telling me little things, um, and, you know, to help my game. And, um, something he's seen in other receivers that he might have played with um, also. So he's just um, helping me also just kind of like learning different things about about being um, a wide out. So. Go ahead, Thank you. Hey, Deontay, thanks for taking the time. Just to piggyback off of Mike Kliss's question and that punt return, that was an 83-yard punt return for a touchdown against the Panthers. It ultimately earned you AFC Player of the Week, sparked an offensive barrage from Drew Locke and K.J. Hamler. Talk about what a special teams touchdown does to spark the offense. Um, I, it, it definitely, um, it, it definitely uh, shifted the momentum of the game. I feel like everybody – um, had a sense of urgency after that. And, you know, it just kind of just carries everybody, everybody's momentum into the next play, the next series. Um, everybody's locked in. And, I mean, it's exciting. It's an exciting play. Um, and when you can get plays like that to help the offense and um, give the team a boost, I mean, eventually we ended up winning the game. But I feel like um, if you can do those things on special teams and every now and then or um, every game provide that spark, um, it's just something that just boosts the whole morale of the team. Finish this off, Troy. Deontay, when you speak with us, you're always so measured, calm. I never see you like that in the locker room and on the field. You're laughing, smiling, or dancing. Where does that come from? Are you a good dancer, or are you – the guys give you a heart? Where does that energy, that caffeinated version of Dante, Deontay we see every every Sunday? Um, I don't know, man. It's just it's just kind of my personality. Uh, um, when I'm, I'm with the guys, I'm along the team, um, you know, I'm just – I'm just blessed to be here and, uh, you know, every day is a blessing and um, that's how I approach it. So um, every day I walk into the, into the building um, and I'm just trying to be myself, bring energy and just have fun. And uh, I feel like that, that, uh, that helps me out, out on the field and to go out there and play with confidence and uh, just be confident in myself and, and have fun. So um, that's, you, that's just me. <laughs> are you the funniest guy on the team or who is? Um, 
funniest guy. I don't know. K Jack might be the funniest to me. K Jack might be the funniest guy on the team. So, um, I mean, I, I know guys who, who would say me, but uh, I'm gonna go with K Jack. So, fantastic. Thank you, Deontay. Oh.